Lisa A. Ramon, the Breakthrough Life Coach, and I have been asked to do a video today. I'm really excited about it. Um, a YouTube viewer has written to me and she's asked me to please give you guys a couple of things that you can do that will actually increase your chances of attracting your divine mate. And I love this question because I believe that <clears throat> the exercises and the tools that I use actually help me manifest my amazing marriage, my amazing husband. And my husband always laughs when I say, I manifested you. And he's like, what? I said, but I did. I manifested you. You, you were nowhere. I knew nothing about you. You knew, no, you knew nothing about me. Um, it wasn't until I started putting the law of attraction into practice that I found him. You know? um, and so what I want to do is get right to this video because I have five things that you can do that will help you attract your divine mate. So the first thing I want you to do, dear ones, is to define what the hell you want. So oftentimes when I coach someone, I'll ask them, we'll start talking about this area of their life in terms of relationships, and I'll say, well, what do you want? And the universe doesn't answer to what you don't want. The universe just answers to what you do want. And the way, in my opinion, the way this whole thing works is whatever's on your mind is what you're going to attract, right? So if you're sending out information into this universe that you don't want someone who smells, what the universe hears is that information, someone who smells. So you can, what you want to do is understand that the universe doesn't work in don't. The universe works in what is and what is your point of focus. So if your po point of focus is, I don't want someone who's rude, then that's what's usually going to show up. Okay, so what you want to do, dear ones, the first thing is define what you want. So what you want to do is you want to journal about what your divine relationship looks like. You have to have a very clear picture. The subconscious mind works like a bullseye. It needs pictures. It needs to understand exactly what it is you want to manifest into your life experience. So take the information of what you don't want and apply it to what you do want. So rather than write about, I don't want someone who smells, I want you to set use the opposite of that, that information. Use that information to help you create a positive statement. I want someone who smells good. That was part of my desire and boy does my husband smell good. He really does. Um, I wanted a snazzy dresser and my, those of you who have met him, he is a snazzy dresser. Um, I wanted someone who could dance because I love to dance and turns out I manifested a hustle king. Believe it or not, my husband won trophies for back in the 70s and the 80s for hustle, for the hustle. So Understand that the universe needs to know what you want. So get to work on manifesting, well, thinking about what you want to experience and what your relationship looks like on paper. The second thing that you can do is I want you to figure out and spend significant time imagining how your divine relationship feels. How does it feel to wake up to next, next to your divine mate? How does it feel to have breakfast with that person? How does it feel to talk about money with that person? How does it feel to lay in bed with that person? How does it feel to put your hand in that person's hand and go for a walk? How does it feel when you come home at the end of the day and that's the person who's waiting for you? How do you want your relationship to feel? That is the magic ingredient so many of us miss because you have to have a thought and you have to have a feeling. When you marry, when those two become one, when your thoughts and your feelings become one and they're integrated, you actually invoke the powers of the universe. That's how you manifest. So you have to know how you want to feel in that relationship. Do you want to feel safe? Do you want to feel content? Do you want to feel peaceful? Do you want to know that this person has, you want to feel in your core that this person has your best interest at heart? Do you want to feel like you can trust this person? Do you want to feel confident in this person? It's really important that you figure out how it is that you want to feel. When I was doing this work, I spent a lot of time imagining how it would feel to be with my divine mate. And when my husband walked into the restaurant and after a wonderful date that we had together, every cell in my body said, this is it. This is the way I wanted to feel. So I created an emotional set point way longer, way long ahead of time before I even manifested my husband. So that's what you want to do. Figure out how you want to feel. The third thing that you want to do, it sounds hokey pokey, but you want to start acting like you are already in a divine relationship. So you want to 
act, milk the vibration. I'm just checking my notes here. You want to milk the vibration of being a in a committed relationship. That means even though it sounds counterintuitive, it sounds counterproductive, you don't want to act single. Um, when Now, the other thing is that everybody has their own perception of acting single. Try to imagine what it feels like. When you're out and about, I want you to imagine, because it's all about your vibration, right? It's all about your attracting point. So if you're, if you're out and about and you're looking and you're coming from a position of lack, you're going to attract lack. So you want to go out and about and imagine that you have already manifested that which you wish to manifest. So you want to walk by faith and not by sight and know that you're, you're doing things every single day that will help you attract your divine mate. So have faith in that. The fourth thing that I want you to do is create a vision board. Mine is behind me, but, and I look at it every day. And I want you to include pictures of happy couples, and I'm going to share some of, the, some of mine with you that, I've been, that I used before I manifested my relationship. So let me get to that. Um, this is also a picture of a 52-year-old woman, so I'm approaching 52. So I think she's beautiful, and I think she's, she looks like she's happy and content. You know, she's got some laugh lines, but that's okay. The woman's 52, and she's drop-dead gorgeous. But I, would, I want this is what I want to manifest for my age, right? So this is what I pay attention to in terms of these are just one of the aspects of my life that I wish to manifest. It has nothing to do with the divine mate, but I just... It was on my list of pictures, so I figured I'd share that with you and my mindset. So here's a picture that I created of, of a happy couple hanging out, playing music, and, you know, they got candles going. So it looks like a happy couple, right? So that went on my board. So here's another couple, you know, just hanging out, you know, enjoying one another. Their face looks very content. This, I love this picture. This is of a, a couple in a hammock. Who doesn't want to feel that way with their divine mate? I know I do. Here's a picture of two people I have yet to get my, well, we've gone bicycle riding, but, you know, this is really up a notch. But I, I'm still hoping that my husband and I will get to a point where we are, like, you know, a little bit more serious about our exercise and bike riding. I still have hope. This is a nice picture of, a, a, of a, just a bunch of friends together enjoying their time together. So that one on my board. Like I said, before I met my husband, I wanted someone who dressed snazzy, and that's pretty much how my husband goes to work every day, believe it or not. I don't dress like her every day, though. Hell no. Whatever. But anyway, I wanted to manifest a man that could dance, and so that's why I used that picture. These pictures are really old, by the way. This is pretty funny. This is a picture of uh, a happy couple with a, a young guy and a guitar and a long beard, and my son is wearing those plaid shirts today, and he's got a beard longer than this kid. Hysterical. Well, take it for what it's worth. I just found that interesting. This is a picture I took out of a travel magazine of uh, a couple. Looks like they're in Colorado or Arizona, but the point is that it's a couple, it's a picture of a couple that is tra that travels, and I love to travel. Here's another picture of a happy couple. Um, here's another picture of a happy couple. You, I have a bunch more, but you get the idea. So you want to create a vision board, um, and I'll tell you why it works, because a picture really is worth a thousand words. Your brain loves pictures. Your brain loves metaphors. And when you are constantly thinking about how you want to feel, and you are, you are creating visions in your head about what you want to experience, and then on, you couple that with the way you want to feel, and then you marry that with pictures, you are really, really invoking the powers of the universe. You really are creating your reality as you go. So the fifth thing that I want you to do, and I know it sounds hokey pokey, but I did it, and, it, and I don't know, I'm just sharing with you what worked for me. Wear a ring on your ring finger. When I was giving um, a, a speech many, many years ago at a women's group, at a local women's group, um, talking about the law of attraction and things like that and, and what they could do to start, you know, thinking better and healthier about the things that were going on in their life for the purpose of helping them change their realities and move it in the direction they really want to go in. Very interesting group of women. They were having this sort of like bizarre or fair, and they had all this, it looked like junk jewelry on a table, and they were selling it. They were going to donate the proceeds to charity. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm looking through all the jewelry and I found this, this pile of what looked like sterling silver jewelry. So I bought a, two bracelets and I bought a ring. 
I took it home and I cleaned it up with silver cleaner and I just absolutely loved the, loved this this silver ring. It was actually from Mexico. Um, and I put it on my ring finger and it fit. And I said to myself, that's it. You know, I'm going to use this ring to help me manifest my divine mate. So it helped me feel married. It helped me feel coupled. It helped me feel like I'd already manifested the relationship that I wanted to manifest. And I met my husband, take it for what it's worth, wearing that ring. And it's funny, I lost it in this house, which I now own with him, which was kind of cool before we even got married. But he replaced it with a beautiful other ring beautiful diamond ring. Isn't that nice, dear ones? So I really hope that this video has, has helped inspire you. I don't ever want you to give up. We really are creating our reality as we go. Um, those of us who have been wounded as children, we've got to face that subconscious programming. We've got to look at it head on. We've got to figure this stuff out because what's happening is in our subconscious mind are all those old movies and all those old, t old tapes. So if you were downloaded to believe that you were not enough, or if your parents fought all the time, or if you saw drama all the time, or if your mother always talked poorly about your dad, or if your dad always talked poorly about your mom, you really if people have to confront those ideas, you want to manifest. You're look, you only need one person in this big giant world to fit your needs, to fit the relationship that you're looking for. That's all. And so it's okay that other stuff is going on. Just hone in on what you want. Hone in on the kind of life experience you want to experience. If you're a bungee jumper, I'm not a bungee jumper, but let's say you're a bungee jumper and you want to manifest a person into your life that likes to jump out of planes or likes to go bungee jumping or is a daredevil. That's your right. You have the absolute right, the capability and the potential to attract that person into your life. But there are definitely key things that you can do to increase your chances of making that happen. So dear ones, this is my, I bow to the love and enlighten you and it has been, been my pleasure to come to you today and let me know how you do in the comment section. Namaste, bye everybody.